A clerkship is really a unique opportunity to develop skills and open doors that almost can't be achieved or opened any other way. The intellectual challenge is like nothing I've ever experienced and it's helped me immensely in my career, both uh, obviously the prestige of having a U.S. Supreme Court clerkship, but also the rigors of the work further prepared me for practice. I think first of all, if you don't know anything about clerkships, Duke has such great resources for you to start to learn what it means to clerk and what the entire process is like. So my first piece of advice would just be to tap into the great potential and resources that Duke already offers. I think one of the first ways that the law school helped me was just informing me about clerkships and the importance of a clerkship in a career that's geared towards litigation. And then from there, they helped me with my writing samples, deciding which judges to apply to. And then probably the, one of the most important parts was um, my professor's input in who I should apply to, the interests that I have, and uh, the letters of recommendation that they provided me. I think it's increasingly true that uh, in order to get a clerkship, you have to have support of a faculty member. Uh, judges are faced with hundreds, sometimes thousands of applications, and the only way they can sort through the pile is to rely on the word people they trust, and often that's professors. During my interview with Judge Davis, one of the things he mentioned was my recommendation letters and he said it's so nice to actually receive letters that the professor knows the student on a on a one-on-one -on -one basis not just about you know how they did on the exam but the interest of the student why they're interested in clerking and I think that's one of the great parts of Duke is that you do have such a you know a small student to um, faculty ratio that they get to know you and can kind of write those really personal letters of recommendation that will ultimately make a difference. The personal interest that the uh, faculty took in me to understand you know, my work habits, my goals, my personality, and advising me as to the, uh, the judges I should consider applying to and, and how I could put my application in the, in the most favorable light to maximize my chances of getting those clerkships. I think that personal interest is what, what helped me most in, in landing these clerkships. It's a unique credential um, which people value for good reason. I often tell my students uh, when you're trying to plan out your legal career, read the bios of the kinds of lawyers you'd like to be. Just go to any law firm page and flip through them and you'll see there's certain elements that repeat, reappear over and over, where the person went to school, whether they were on Law Journal, and if they clerked, their clerkship. Law firms, clients, and lawyers value it. Right? This is a market signal and this is why law firms are happy to pay to reward people uh, who've taken that year off to clerk. As a law clerk, you get to see everything about the judge's decision-making process. Uh, you're, you're intimately involved in that, and that's extremely helpful in practice now where my work consists of trying to persuade judges uh, to accept a uh, position that I'm advocating for on behalf of my client. As an institution and as a faculty, we're deeply committed to the clerkship program. And the result, I think, is a well-integrated system which helps students just from the get-go all the way through the end of the process and even after that.